Welcome to our mini Game of Thrones discussion uh, for episode one of season 7B. 7B? 8? Question mark? I don't know. I thought I thought last season was season 6. It was season, no, that last season was season 7. Oh, okay. So I guess... Um, it's I Monday guess morning. Is, I guess this is season 8. Yes, it's Monday morning. It just aired last night. I had pancakes, sausage, bacon, and hash browns. For what bre- what did breakfast. you have? I did. I didn't. I rolled out of bed, and here you are. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sleepy Time Junction. Um. So, we're gonna spoil uh everything. Episode one of season eight of Game of Thrones. Um. There's there's only uh six episodes this season, so we're gonna do six episodes of this mini. Wow. Podcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought there were seven. There's not seven? No, there's six. One for each kingdom? No? Okay. Uh, I can double check real quick. It won't take that long. It's right here. No, there's six. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll first thing... i accept that. First thing um, that I wanted to talk about, um, the opening credits. Yeah. Were, like, way different and cooler. Yeah, they really went all out for this last season. They, like, like went, like... Inside the buildings. buildings and shit. The walls knocked down. Everything's winter, by the way. I, none of us mentioned that last night, but it, oh yeah, all also it was all like... parts of it was uh, it covered in snow. Yeah, which was exciting. Also, I don't know if this indicates how f- this would be really cool, and I'm gonna in, like inspect each opening for each one of these uh, six episodes. The snow kept flipping, and it was blue at the beginning. Is that how far along the White Walkers are? Is that indicating oh, that? I don't because know. it kind of stopped after very soon you in the intro. The, uh, they were like squares. Yeah, and they were like they just kept flipping. Yeah, maybe I don't know. That'd be really clever. Yeah, I don't know if they would have done something like that. Usually, they just record one, a new one right. per season. But this is it. So who knows what their their plan is? Yeah, no, that I also wouldn't be surprised if they were like, let's go all out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so um the so a, a couple people are complaining online about how boring the episode was. I I kind of don't mind cuz I, yeah. I I'm confident that this is the only quote unquote boring one that we're going to have for the rest of the season. Right. I mean, the way I was thinking about putting it is so much happened and so little happened in this yeah. first episode. Yeah. I mean, we just we I was thinking about this. We got all the like, like every every character that had, uh, oh, w- when I meet up with them, I'm going to tell them something. Right. We got all that out of yeah. the way in episode Except, one. Except uh, Jamie, kind of. We just got, we just yeah. figured out where he was going. Yeah. Um, There was a few things, not to go off the walls, but you just kind of mentioned it. I, I know I, you got a little order you want to go in, but. Um, no, there, no, my list is in no particular order. Okay. Um. There were a few things that happened. I'll agree with people. Like, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it boring, but it was definitely a slow episode. Not much in the grand scheme of things happened, except uh, we found out every character essentially that's still alive, and it's kind of all of them. Nobody yeah. really died in the finale that we can. I can't. That's the thing. Everybody I care about. Right. I can't think of a character. Peter Bailey. Oh, I died. guess Grey Worm. We didn't see Grey Worm. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, he was on the horse with his. Oh, you're right. Lady you're right. You're right. You're right. Peter Baelish died in the season finale of right season seven, but which is excellent. Who gives a frunk? But we knew that. I'm saying there was a lot of people. Who, it was oh, up in the yeah, air. Everyone on the wall survived. Yeah, every, right, right. Yeah, that was one of my points. Um, that everyone. I was excited that everyone, every yeah. character you would care about on the on the wall survived. Um, one thing happened that I, honest to God, expected to happen in the last twenty minutes of the last episode. Was they were like, oh, by the way, Jon Snow, you, like mm. you, you're the rightful yeah, they, heir to everything. They got that out of the way quick. Yeah, Daenerys was like, Sam, your your dad's <laughs> dead, and then he runs outside, and Bran is like, stop crying. You got to go <laughs> tell Jon about yeah. his aunt. Yeah. Um. God, Bran knows about all of that. Why is Bran? Listen, a character acting so weird. I know he was already acting weird, but this time he was literally like, I'm gonna just gonna roll my wheelchair up and put it in this scene and then just sit here. 
Um, I I don't know. Uh, he's he's a weird dude now. Like it wouldn't be weird at this point if he was just like, "Hang on, everybody," and then he like split in two and turned into like a phoenix and flew away. <laughs> like he's just like he's just like he's being, at that level of weird. He's being so weird. Like when John was like, "I'm happy to see you. You're a man now," and he was like, "I'm almost a man." And yeah, then that was they weird. Were just like. But both of them were just like, uh, 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 okay. Yeah, John, John was literally like, all right, didn't need this. <laughs> <laughs> he literally gave him the look like, all right, thanks. Guess I'll go talk to anybody else. <laughs> Jesus Christ with that guy, am I right? He gave him a look that was basically the look of like, okay, I have other siblings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, thank go, God you're not go the last one. Um, I did notice that um, there's so many characters in the same place now. Oh, I know. That... Um, um, there was a couple that didn't get any speaking lines, uh, like uh, Brienne of Tarth. Oh yeah! Oh my god! She was gosh. in the episode. What? I I didn't even. You know what? Wow! Now that I think about it, I can't even remember where she was. I just she knew was, she was safe, so she wasn't on my mind. Yeah, she was in the background when John was talking to Bran. Oh wow! But she never talked. Wow! I feel like she'd have a lot to say to a lot of people. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So much, but so little happened. Right, yeah. Like, a lot of information was given. Not a lot of plot got, you know, the plot didn't continue that no. much. On, on the only, the only like, plot continuation that we have is Euron is back in King's Landing. Right. And the White right. Walkers are past the wall. Also, he got with the Queen. Also didn't. Expect that also to ever happen? Ex- also didn't... Ex- I thought she was leading him on. Yeah. For sure. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect Jamie to get to Winterfell this episode. I didn't... I thought we were gonna... That was gonna be a couple episodes in. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I didn't expect to see Jamie at all this episode. And no. th- that was the cliffhanger. I thought maybe one shot of him, like, on the way. Yeah, something. yeah. Well, that's the thing. Travel's so friggin' long in this game. Uh, in this game. <laughs> in this show. That well, not in season seven. Remember, people were complaining about that. Everything like he called Daenerys, and she was there in like a half right. hour. But true. But she's the only one with dragons. Right. But she had to go all the way from uh, uh, what is it called? I'm being doing so good with names. She had to go all the way from um, um, oh my god, what's the what's the Baratheon, Stannis Baratheon. She had to go all the way from his. Oh home, yeah, right, right. His place, with and the that's map, right off the... the edge of King's Landing, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, she had to go all the way from that to the Wall, and she did it like in a couple. She did it overnight, basically. Yeah, she, like went to sleep and woke up, and she was there. Yeah. Um, I also didn't. Uh, expect well they finally unlock fast travel sorry that was the last <laughs> thing i wanted to throw in about that um i also um yeah i didn't expect everyone on the wall to survive no um i didn't expect uh but i'm glad it happened because i've been waiting like literally like 10 years of my adult life uh of that aria and john finally saw each other again. yeah they finally yeah. like had a moment kind of like, the only like, he's seen all his surviving siblings at this point. Kind of the only heartwarming one. Like, seeing each other again moment. Well, him and Sansa, eh. the, not in this episode, but the first time I, when she went to the wall. when she, I think she went to the wall and he was like, oh, you're here. I don't think she ever went to the wall. I don't remember. But the, the first time they... They they teamed up last season. It was a there was a season of like I'm uh, a moment of like I missed you. Yeah, I, it, it was quickly followed up with like I don't know. She's very condescending to people, Sansa, and yeah. she was like, "Great, you're here now. Fix everything." Yeah, like oh, was, we did. We did get a, a a conversation between Sansa and Tyrion, which was cool. I thought yeah. they were just. Did you hear what I that. said when we were watching that? Uh, he I, walked up like to talk to the all the lords. And she was, and the camera was clearly setting it up like she's in the background, he's in the the forefront of the shot, and I was just like, oh, these two characters were married once. It was <laughs> yeah. just a weird moment. Yeah, no, I thought we were just gonna brush that under the rug, but we, yeah, they did talk about it a bit. I I, I like when um he was like, I haven't seen you since Joffrey's wedding, and he was like, tragic a day or whatever, and she was like, it had it. Mo- yeah, moments. yeah, yeah. Um, why did um. 
Why did Why did Asha slap Theon when he was saving her? Uh, cause she's too cool for school. That's another character I just don't care for. She again, she's just like I'm so tough, and it's like, all right, well, he saved you. Get Get over yourself. I think the reason she did it was because he jumped off this. He had a chance to save her in the last season. Right. Or he could have he could have like, you know, been brave for a second. Instead he jumped ship, which ended up being the smart option cuz right, he cause... regrouped and got more people and saved her. Yeah. So I think that's what the slap was like okay. soon enough like I, the only thing I could think of was like maybe he took too long or something in her opinion. Well, that's what I'm getting at. I oh, think yeah, she's yeah. like you could have done this instantly, but what well, yeah. just be grateful for a second that poor guy yeah. hesitated calling him guy. <laughs> Um, that's another thing too. I I didn't expect that to happen right away. That was like right away. I was expecting no, that to they're, be. No, they're they they they. You saw the next time on. It looks like shit's about to pop off. Like oh, immediately. Yeah. Like it. They they wasted no time at all. Being like, all right, here's the teams. One yeah. of them is Cersei. One of, <laughs> one is, one of them is just Cersei. <laughs> one of them's just Cersei. One of them is everyone else. <laughs> the rest of mankind. And then there's the Wall and the Greyjoys. And like, yeah. Now that we oh, all you're know, right. There's kind of four teams because the Greyjoys of, yeah. are the the the, the people the Wall the people at the Wall are definitely Team Winterfell. Yeah. But they just have to get there right, first, right, right, safely. Uh, team. Greyjoy is definitely team anti Cersei. Theon's on his way to Winterfell, for sure. Right. But everyone else. I feel like it's just um the Lannisters and the Greyjoys playing each other. One yeah. thinks they one thinks they have the upper hand, the other thinks they have the upper hand, and they're just like, Yeah. Let's just beat around the bush till one of us kills the other one. Yeah. Um, do you um what do you think about uh Braun? Do you think he's gonna kill Jamie and Tyrion or do you think he's going to be loyal to his I friends? think I've I've loved this character since the beginning and I know he talks up a big gang big game about being all about money. Yeah. I I don't think he's going to do it. I think what he's going to do is he's going to end up with the money and his friends. Yeah. I think she just gave him a free pass to go join the the, the good guys. Stark gang. Yeah. 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 Cuz she was like here's a bunch of gold, here's a weapon. Go get him and he's just like <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I yeah. Don't... I. I didn't think of that. I guess now that he has, as long as assuming she gave him the money up front, he's the guy who told him about it. Said it's waiting for you outside. Oh yeah, he, right. He's yeah. got okay, the gold. So he has no reason to. He's like, no, not at all. Kill Jamie or don't kill Jamie. He has no reason to go back to King's Landing. Right. The only thing, the only reason he would go through it with it is pride, and I genuinely don't think that character has any. Right. Like honor and pride. He, what does he care? Yeah. He's got a trunk full of gold in a in a couple of friends who aren't as insane as Cersei. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for first of all, um do you want to talk about the next time on in these discussion episodes? Uh we ca- I think we should save it for the end because there's some people who might have skipped it. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And who also want to hear us babble about it for some reason. <laughs> who who are gonna be like, oh well then they ruined it. So I think we should save that for the end. Okay. Um I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about in the I did. Okay. I think it would be uh a fun thing to do if you and I took a bet right now who's gonna be on the throne at the oh. end of the season. Um see 'cause there's there's a lot of different players yeah. involved, you know? There's oh, absolutely there's you can't have this conversation without talking about uh, Robert's kid. What's right. his name? Ah, uh, Robert's kid. Uh, uh Gren Grenly, or something. Oh, it's like something that? like that. Or I just refer to him as the blacksmith. Yeah, the black. Yeah, the blacksmith. Um, which was he got right to work. By the way. He oh was yeah. Like he was like, oh man. Somebody had to. They keep collecting this stuff. Nobody's making weapons. I noticed yeah. that last season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and the hound were like. All right, welcome to Winterfell. Get to work. <laughs> um, um, there's ha- that you can't have a conversation without bringing him up, obviously. Yeah. But like, at the end of the day, like, I don't think that, like, I obviously I don't know what's gonna happen in the next five episodes, but like, I think if everyone else dies, then he would be like, yeah, I'll take it, I guess. But like, yeah, if. If Jon Snow is ready to lead and he's right there being like, well, I could lead. Ah, but he'll do it. 
That being right. said, I don't think he gave kind of a uh, when Sam told him about his heritage, he gave kind of a strong response. But I don't think he like I think his not caring about being king of the north like continues on to not caring about being king well, of the whole. Well, I don't know about that because he did, like you just said, he had a strong reaction. What he said he didn't care about was being king of the north. Yeah. Then Sam said, I'm not talking about that crap. You're king of everything. And I think, I think not, I don't think it's a desire, which is why I love Jon Snow. I think it's a sense of responsibility. Yeah. I think that's what's going to get him. He doesn't want it. He hasn't wanted it. But he feels responsible to do right by the people. The thing, the thing that I really liked about that scene, um, um, and uh, this is something I love whenever um, a character does something like this. He he was told two extremely important bits of information, or three, really. His real ass name. Yeah. His parents, and the fact that the girl that he's like going out with <laughs> is related to him. And what he took away from that was Ned Stark lied to me my whole life. Yeah. That was kind of weird. I I thought it was cool how he was like his like order of operations are like the most important thing to me out of this yeah. is the fact that I was lied to. I'll worry about that all that other important stuff later. I'm glad he got over that quick though. I'm glad Sam explained it the way a real life person would. Yeah. Cuz I could see that being like John just running off in a huff and Sam being like, "No, but wait." <laughs> you know what I mean? But like Sam was like, "No, he didn't lie to you. He saved your life right, yeah. along with everybody else in the situations. Get over yourself." <laughs> yeah. And did, did, do you think I have a question? Yeah, that scene began with like a big bang, and then John's like, "What was that?" And then he turns around the corner, and Sam is like getting up <laughs> off the ground. Do, you, do I think that was scripted? Do you think that actor just tripped? Himself? No, I, th- I I think it was scripted, okay. just because it fits his character so well. Yeah, it'd be amazing to find out <laughs> if it wasn't, but I do I do think it was scripted. Um, <laughs> no, I think Ugh. I think. Uh, I don't know. I think it's I see it depends on I love how Daenerys hasn't been brought up once. Yeah, no, I was just about to. I it's it's just a matter of is he going to tell her in the next episode? How much is he going to tell her in the next right. episode? Is right. my question. So like I It'd be funny if she goes in for a kiss and he's just like, "Nah, maybe, <laughs> maybe not right now." Um, no, I mean, I mean uh, yeah, because if you tell her one thing, you got to kind of tell her the other thing. Because if he's like, hey, let's stop doing it because we're related, it's like, wait, you're we're related? Right. Who, the, I, who's heir to the throne? I, right. I think he's going to be strategic about it. I think he's going to not tell her off the bat, but he is going to distance himself. He's going to be like, maybe, I think in a medieval sense, he's going to be like, hey, let's be professional right now. There's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because I think he'd be in danger if he told her right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, instant danger. Oh, yeah. I think she uh have no problem offing him. Yeah, she doesn't care she, about him. She's also a little nuts. I've had my... Yeah, every they all are. All the target. Yeah. I, I don't like that, that character. I think she plays a good job of playing the character. I think Daenerys is very condescending. I think she has a sense of uh, righteousness that isn't necessarily true. Now, that was going to be my point, is the way I see it, there's two rightful heirs, and it kind of depends on who you're loyal to, and it's um, Robert's son, the blacksmith, or Jon Snow. Daenerys is now out of the equation. It's who are are you loyal to? Like, Like, if she's like, but I'm the rightful heir, it's like, you're not, though. You had a claim, but na- but now we've proven you're not. So you think you do you, you think we're gonna have a a moment where it's like episode four, Cersei's dead, and then episode like now Daenerys is the villain for the rest of the the, the episodes. I have a few theories. It's either gonna be a th- uh, Daenerys versus John, and I really wish we remembered his name the the blacksmith. Fighting side by side. Yeah, you're going to look it up. Yeah. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for him to look it up, looking around the room. We've never talked about this, but he has a sweet portrait of a wizard, unicorn, and dragon in the middle of his room, and it's it's really cool. They're definitely on like a tower in a castle. Oh, yeah, I've always had that. I don't know why. It's um, cool. It was my dad's uh, Gendry. Gendry. G-E-N-D-R-Y. Yes. And Gendry... The last living bastard son of King Baratheon. Yes. Ooh, actually, that's a good point, too. Um, 
John still has kind of the stronger claim. Like he's not a true heir to to Robert Baratheon. Right, Robert Baratheon is not Cersei Lannister's son. So she so he's only he's only uh royalty through Robert. But and John that wasn't is, even legitimate. Right. Is what I'm saying. Right. And John is John is a legitimate Targaryen. Yeah, he's yeah. They were married and everything. But um I think uh you're going to see uh Gengri and Jon Snow fighting side by side like Robert and Ned did against the Targaryens. Oh, that would be cool. Right? Um yeah. and then from there it's a battle of who doesn't want it <laughs> the most. And I think if it comes down to between John and Gendry, a battle of who doesn't want it the most. It'll be very civil. Yeah, oh, he's going to give it to John. Right. He's going to be like, I could rule, but I'd be bad at it. You'll right. be better. You, you one will be the hand, one will be the king. Mm, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, I'm just saying, uh, one's d- one of them is definitely not going to... Everybody's going to win on that side in that situation is what I'm saying. Gengri's not going to go back to being the the blacksmith in like the crappiest part of right, town. Yeah. Everybody's going to win yeah. on their side yeah. if they win. I just I know there's a lot of Daenerys fans out there. I just she's never I've never gotten the warm fuzzies from her. I've never felt like she did I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it. I was just going to say that, but I, that's not what I mean. Okay. There's just people I would like to see have it more who I think deserve it more. Here's the thing. Like, she, there's no arguing the fact that she has worked the hardest for it, but at, on camera, you know? We, 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 we literally, like, have seen her whole journey from, like, the moment she decided she wanted to be queen up until now. Right. Um, And, like... She's doing it, you know, she's putting her time in. She has like an army of like 7 billion people. Um but like I she's she's slowly and I think they're doing this on purpose. She's slowly going kind of crazy just like her yep. her other relatives. She's just um just like she promised she wouldn't. From a right, right. And from a character's perspective, just the whole way through, she's just been very cocky and condescending and it's hard for me to root for somebody like that. I understand she's worked very hard. Yeah. I won't take that away from her. It's just I'm watching her do this, and then I see Jon Snow, who's killing it just as hard. I'm going <laughs> to say it. He's not going for the gold, but he is. Right. That, make, that makes meant. me care for him even more. He's There's not even an, uh, uh, an alternate motive. He's just like, I want everything to work out for everybody. Yeah. And um, he's just a very lovable character. I want him to win. <laughs> oh, but we've never, ever. Who are you? Who's your bet? Uh, I... I'm going with John. I don't know. I've been Danny this whole time just because I I I feel like that's what the show has been gearing up to. I think it I think the tides are turning though. No, yeah, they definitely are. Especially I didn't think that until that Sam said that. Until that look that right. John gave Sam. Right, right. Where he like the look of John like realizing everything and right. like going through the options of like what am I gonna bring up first? Well, since we've known about Jon Snow's heritage I've been saying he's the true heir, and like I didn't know if the show was gonna make it so he wasn't to make Danny still have the the claim. But then Sam was flat out like, "You, you, yeah, it's you." I read a book that says you're supposed to be. Yeah. So why does he have more? Uh, according to Sam's words, why does he have more right to the throne than she does because he's a dude or no, no he i mean the fam the heritage kind of the family tree kind of gets blurry for me right but he's more of a direct lineage to the mad king than daenerys somehow oh okay he was the f- i i don't know if it was he was the firstborn or what have you i know that's technically his aunt yeah i i get a little lost and a little fuzzy sam explains the whole thing i still yeah can't get it but uh, he's closer related to the to the family tree. Okay, so it's so it goes to him. Yeah. Um. Oh man, you got to give the listeners a an answer, Anthony. I I I'm gonna stick with Danny. Okay, cool. That'll make it interesting. Yeah. Um. Danny versus John. Yeah, and I'm not even sure that's how it's gonna end up. No, I no I <laughs> I don't I don't either. Cause here's the thing. Um. Uh, Gengri could absolutely step in and be like, you know what? I've been listening to all of you arguing. I'm throwing my hat in the ring. 
I I think something like that would only happen if like shit gets crazy. Yeah. How like both John and Danny are like obsessed with getting the crown and they get like like I well, don't know. It's interesting because it, it honestly comes down to who the people are going to be loyal to, um, Baratheon or Targaryen. Because if it's Baratheon, there's only one dude. With Targaryen, you got two options. One apparently has a very clear-cut win, but the other one's been searching for it longer, if that's that the other, matters. That's the other thing. People, uh, like, people who are loyal to the North are like... They like Jon Snow, but because he like left or whatever, they're yeah. like a little like. Eh, oh yeah, they're but like not happy about that. They they don't like Targaryens. No, and now Jon is one. Right. So, and they did like Baratheon. They fought for him. Yeah. To get the crown. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that that uh, there's a lot of interesting twists there. We're not even the funny part is we're arguing about this. Not ar- you know we're discussing this. Everybody else is discussing this. Not the main plot of this season. No, this season is everybody surviving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, um, this season is gonna. That's why I think. So let's talk about next time on because okay, it 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 looks like. It looks like the White Walkers are gonna make it to Winterfell in the next episode. So do you think that? Do you think that? We're getting that out of the way, and then we're gonna focus on the crown. I really hope not. I really hope it's not a one episode deal. Even if it's one of the hour and twenty minute episodes, like I, I want that to have a little arc. There's six episodes. I'd like that to be three. What? The White Walkers. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, at least two. I, I just didn't think they would progress this fast. No, I know. It's it's weird. Well, they got to fit everything in six episodes. I understand that's a lot. Yeah, but I feel like there's just... I feel like as far as the checklist of things that need to happen right now, all the conversations are done. Yeah. And now all we need to do is kill all the White Walkers and then go after the throne. No, on, you're right. On, as far as things that have to happen on camera before the credits roll in the last episode. And, like, it seems like shit's popping off pretty quick um i'm very excited for all the jamie stuff next episode it seems like jamie is gonna like full get like a full-on trial oh yeah whether he should be on team good guy or not and you one of two things are gonna happen they're either uh Tyrion's gonna step in and save him which as a normal person makes sense to me that's an easy way to 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 you know cadence that that arc right there yeah or they're gonna game of thrones it and he's gonna die like beginning of that episode yeah, i mean he's well uh to further your point i think if Tyrion steps forth and he's like no i'm we should listen to him i think then brienne is also gonna be true like, yeah he, he's got a few allies there he's got a few allies but the point i was about to bring up is he's also got a lot of shit under his belt oh that yeah they could like straight up immediately execute him for everybody's super on team jamie here's my meter with jamie as far as the show goes episode one just negative 100 yeah like, oh yeah 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 i'd say right now he's neutral i've never been a fan of jamie i've i've yeah, not wanted even, to not, not see even, him dead, but not even in that season where, like, in his season, the one where he was like on the run, and he lost his arm, and no, he teamed up with. I kind of thought he deserved it. I thought it was fitting. I'm glad he didn't die because I don't. I don't think he quite deserves to die. He's clearly turning around. I think this might be the season where I'm like, all right, he went full circle. Yeah, he made see, it. I haven't gotten there yet, though. He's just neutral in my book. Um, that's very interesting to me. Um, Jamie's my favorite character. Is he really? Yeah, even even still, I love Jamie. Interesting. He's he's, he's I, I like him, and I was so last couple of seasons I've been like, meh. Well, he's you know he's back to this, right. but at the end of the last season, he like rode off to as as I put it to be with the good guys, and I was right. Right. He rolled up, and I'm only assuming next episode he's gonna be like, hey guys, can I play too? <laughs> can I? Can, my sister was mean to me, and I joined the <laughs> other team. Oh man! She cheated at tag. I didn't want to play hide and seek tag. I just wanted to play tag. <laughs> Can I play with you guys? It, yeah, that's that's exactly how it's gonna go down. And then they're gonna slit and then his they're throat. Gonna be like, well, you killed this person and this one, <laughs> and you almost killed Bran. He's he's got like a demon in him now, thanks to you. <laughs> uh, he's weird now because of you. He's weird now. <laughs> 
Yeah, you brought up a good point. He Jamie gave him this look of like, oh no, it's Bran. And you and I were both separately kind of like, everyone knows that he's fucking his sister. Right. Like, why is this a big deal? But like, <laughs> th- like he um, he almost murdered him, <laughs> and nobody's talked about that yet. Right. Yes. That yeah. was that was the big giveaway that you and I kind of went over our heads right. for a second because Bran. Obviously, the big plot point of season one was Bran lost his memory and couldn't right. tell on Jamie. Right. But like now that he sees like past, present, and future, <laughs> he knows. He, he yeah. And but, but that's not that, even the point. You that was the point you and I thought he right. was making, and it's like, <gasps> but everybody knows that right, now. Yeah. The point is, he almost killed him. <laughs> yeah. But here's my question: Does Bran care? Enough? Right. I don't think he does. Well, I think being all Doctor Strange about himself. Bran's gonna know if Jamie's important or not, so he's either gonna not say anything because True. he knows his importance, yeah, or Bran, he's gonna Bran, be like, "Hey, this guy though, finish him." Bran kind of seems to only open his mouth when it's like, "No, no, no, leave, leave him." You know, this. Yeah. Is the, I can see the future. <laughs> Have you heard? Um. So I don't know. I I feel like even if it's like literally a scene where we're weighing our options of like here's all the good jamie did here's all the bad jamie did brands in the room i don't think he's even gonna talk i think he no. doesn't give a shit at all about which would be anymore. a really coming from you know watching the first episode and you're like oh i can't wait till he gets his and it's eight seasons later and it comes full circle and it's not even gonna happen that's yeah. gonna be really interesting yeah every person who needs to be in the room is in the room who knows about it and what they can do to jamie about it and and it might not even happen. Yeah. But beyond that, that's not the only thing holding Tyrion, uh, Tyrion, Jamie down. Um, killed Daenerys' uh, dad. dad. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. made a big point of being like... He's uh, like literally like everyone knows who he is and is scared of him because he killed Daenerys' dad. Yeah. But here's my theory with that. I think Daenerys is the only one who's going to care about that. I feel like she's going to say that and everybody's going to look at themselves like, yeah, but he was good. Yeah. <laughs> that was good he did that, though. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I know he's a Lannister, but like, your dad was kind of too far gone. Yeah. Um, you're de- so you and I, uh, uh, we ended up watching this together in the same room. Uh, yeah. And we were watching it with your parents. Um, your dad brought up an interesting point that I've never even thought of uh, before. Do you think that the Hound and the Mountain are going to like meet up? Oh, they in have any to. Way? They have to. Here's the thing: the Mountain has just been. I'm. I've been so disappointed with his character because he doesn't do anything. Right. He was brought back to life, and we one and he don't didn't get to do see anything. His face, right. Two. He hasn't done anything yet. He just not a thing. There. And honestly, I'm getting sick of it. Like he keeps. Be, be an oh tough guy in front of um what's his name the Greyjoy you're on yeah and it's like do it like <laughs> just right, do that's something the thing. do like, anything what I was expecting was I was expecting this I was expecting this like pulled back of like okay he's not gonna do anything for a while but I I was expecting like one scene where someone looks at Cersei wrong and he like pushes them and they go like across the room because he's like super strong there now was, or something there was one instance. Now that I'm thinking about it, oh, but only one, and it wasn't good enough. It didn't quench my thirst, where he had just turned into Zombie Mountain, yeah, or uh, whatever you want to refer to him as, and he just smashed a guy's head into a wall over and over again until he was dead. But I was like, I feel like regular Mountain could have done yeah. that. That wasn't impressive to me for this character. I saw him chop a horse's head off <laughs> in one swing. Yeah, and there, uh, was, there was no, like, like, it was a very clean... And quick cut. Oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's what he's been saved up for. Yeah. They have, they have, the like this card waiting on the sidelines that they haven't played yet. This, right. And he's use them or don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, like do something with use them. Use them somehow. Like she's. Al- I feel like she's already wasted his like potential with like he's not gonna fight White Walkers. Right. He's going to sit back while the other guys fight the White Walkers, and then when we fight Cersei, he's going to fight, you know, I think he'll or, fight the Hound. Yeah. I I think that's the only thing that would be cool enough for me to be like, wow, he did nothing for five seasons, then he did something. Right, yeah. Because, like, the Hound, like, one, doesn't know his brother is alive again. Right. I guess that's it. He just I don't even know, know if he died. If he knows that he died? Or, like, you know, got 
beat up. I don't think he knows any of that happened. No, I don't think he knows any of that happened because that was happening like I think last he saw him was in season one yeah. when he walked off. Yeah. So he uh, he knows nothing about his brother. Yeah. No. Yeah. When he left with Arya, or no, he left with Sansa in, in the Battle of Blackwater Bay. Who did he leave with? He just like took Arya. Sa- well, he was with Arya. Yeah. He he took Arya. He was like, let's go. <laughs> well, he met up with Arya after Blackwater Bay. No, but then he didn't he leave with Sansa? He talked to Sansa, wanted her to go with oh, him. Oh, and she said and she said no. She said no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a lot of uh like I said, this episode, uh, you said it better. It wasn't boring. I wasn't bored. It was just it was a slow episode. But yeah. I can only assume that's it for slow this was also a short one. Game of Thrones yeah. is usually sixty minutes. This episode was only fifty four, but most of them are uh gonna be eighty minutes, so that's pretty exciting. Mm. Um that's gonna that's this one felt super short. Those ones are gonna feel like forever. Oh, I know, <laughs> and I can't wait. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, that is our Game of Thrones uh, discussion for episode one. Um, yeah, tune in next week. Yeah. Um, are they going? Hang on, let me check that real quick before we. Are they uh, every single week? Yeah, because they usually they usually take a week break, but like there's only six episodes, so like. Uh, boop 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 boop. Nope, we're good. We're just awesome. six straight weeks. Yeah, so uh. This is going up like right now, so join us next Monday, or don't, and uh, we'll see you later.